Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? Oops. All right. So last we left off, the town of Inaba was covered with fog. And Nanako had recovered just enough to receive visitors. What is today? Monday? Wow, there's very different music now that the town is covered in a fog. So it seems Ko and Rise and Kanji are all available. What are you doing out, old man? <coughs> I haven't been feeling like my usual self lately. My daughter-in-law has been nagging at me to stay put. But if I don't protect this town, who will? Dude, you're gonna die. Yo, let's go. Easy. Come on, big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Nothing. Unlucky. I mean, we got the one extra. I want to take a look at the shrine just to see if this like lady has anything different to say. Sorry. <laughs> I was just there for the dialogue, man. I swear. What's your deal? I asked my boss to come drinking, but he said he was too busy. What the hell? I went out of my way to invite him along. I thought about asking someone else, but I've never been drinking with anyone else. Anyway, I don't feel like drinking today. I wonder if it's because of the fog. <laughs> Lamau. Uh, let's see if there's anything going on with the fusion forecast. Nothing today, nothing tomorrow. Alright. That's fine. Well, we can't work today. So, I may as well spend time with Kanji or Rise. Kanji's rank 5, Rise's rank 5. I think I already spent time with Kanji, so let's spend time with Rise. Senpai! Yeah, what's up? Wow, pretty lucky I happen to run into you at this hour. I just finished helping out at the store. Rise seems bored. She might appreciate it if you talked with her. Uh, should you spend the evening with Rise? Yeah. Really? Yay! I need to spend time with you. Whoa. Crazy. I accidentally tore the sleeve on my uniform the other day. Just when I was cursing my luck, Kanji fixed it up quick with a sewing kit. Came out looking better than it did before. Uh, I knew he was good, but that was really something. Actually, isn't he a little ahead of me when it comes to girl stuff? <laughs> Kanji is actually just simply too good. 
What? That's not... I mean, maybe so, but... Fine, you'll see. Just when you're least expecting it, bam. We say it's full of energy. But have you noticed Kanji's pretty cold to me? I thanked him for the help, and he told me to shut up. Oh, do you think he's embarrassed? Yeah, probably. You enjoyed your idle chat with Risei. Uh, you feel your relationship with Risei has grown stronger, could become stronger soon. That's oh. good. Wow, it's this little really late. Sorry, I gotta get back. But before I go, give me your hand, senpai. I want you to have it, senpai. Rich milk candy. Ta-da. Surprise present. Did I get ya? Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Oh my god, it's gonna be fucking cloudy forever. You overhear students talking. The weather's been really weird lately. What's up with all this fog? This fog looks like it's gonna stay here forever. But I heard it's nothing to worry about. That's what some great guy on TV said. Oh, I also heard that it's poisonous. Very toxic. Nobody knows why it's toxic. Man, just thinking about how toxic it, toxic it is makes me feel ill. I'll probably stay home for a while. <laughs> You're just too lazy to take the finals because you're next week, aren't you? Oh god, finals are next week in game. Fuck. It's seriously too cold now. Such a painful season if you've got back pain. Oh, see? Speaking of back pain, there's a deity that makes your back hurt. It's a titan named Atlas. Do you know about him? He's often depicting carrying the earth on his shoulders. And it looks really heavy. Makes me hurt just looking at it. And atlases are also used in geography class. But do you know what they are? Well then, Kamen Kun, who doesn't like, uh, who doesn't look like he'd know. Do you know what an atlas is? I believe it's a book of maps. I don't know. Yeah, very good. Yep, an atlas is a book of maps. Mercator's book of maps uh, featured a large picture of Atlas on the cover. Note the spelling. It's spelled A-T-L-A-S. Okay. I mean, how else would you spell it? Well, there's always... Oh, my back. You have the correct answer. Knowledge has increased. Uh, the police have probably begun to question Namatame. It's going to take a while for Nanako to recover. No, I have no choice. Okay. Oh, hey. Quest. What's up? My mother's always telling me that I should be studying more. She keeps bringing up this kid in elementary school and saying that I need to be like him. Isn't that crazy? What kind of super kid is he anyway? I'd like to ask you for a special favor. Could you listen to me for a sec? Yeah, what's up? That girl on the roof. What do you think she thinks of me? Haven't we already gone over this? Well, there's nothing I can do but change myself. I already have a plan. <sighs> you know, that girl said she wanted to be a vet, so I think that she'll need an animal guide. Okay. <laughs> I'll check the TV. It's a picture book that an old scholar or a magician would use. From a magician, like, on top of a cloud or something. Okay. Lamau. Jeez, that is... Fo bo for... Foreboding. God, I can't even speak... Wow, it's almost December. I know it's a long way away still, but... I kinda dread this time of year. 
we always have these big family gatherings on Christmas, which means we have to make a lot of food. And then it's New Year's, so there's even more preparing to do. Why me? All I want to do is go outside. Uh, I'd like to ask another favor of you. What's up? Uh, do you think you can find me a piece of classy lumber? Thinking about building a shelf. All right. You're amazing, senpai. I apologize for putting a piece of classy lumber. All right. Let's see, is Kanji hanging out downstairs? Nope. Do people ever think that they'd be happier if they could go back and live in the past? I've been wondering. I've only been listening to my radio, uh, and it's like my heart just yearns for a return to those simpler times. Listening to the radio on a lazy summer day, just the two of us, uh, without a care in the world. The radio I'm listening to hasn't changed at all. Why is the rest of the world so different? I have another favor to ask you. What's up? Another crystal radio. Can't find what I need. Mineral called old ore, but it seems to be quite rare now. Just the two of us. No, oh, I guess people are available to hang out. Huh. Hmm. I didn't see, like, other people. Is Chi A available? She is. She is level nine, eight. She is level eight. All right, let's go see if Marie is available. Oh, there's where Kanji is. I feel like this, this fog could be a total red herring. Like, just have absolutely nothing to do with the story. But it probably does. God gamer? God gamer? Also, I really like the, the theme. The fog theme. Oh yeah, we need to find the guy who's afraid of cats. Lately, the fog's been coming in thick. Something doesn't seem right about it, does it? To be honest, a friend told me this. He said the Inaba's fog is a curse. Okay. If I had to guess, the guy who's afraid of cats is probably on the Samagawa floodplain. Aha! I thought I'd finally begun to understand everything at my age, but I guess not. Oh, was sorry. Even when you're this old, you're still finding out new things about yourself. I figured I'd gotten wiser since I was your age. But I've also held on to stuff I should have let go a long time ago. So a lot to be ashamed of in a long life, but it sure keeps things interesting. Just better enjoy getting older. Do so you have a minute then? I've got another request to ask of you. I'd like another lamp. Something simple but beautiful, not too gaudy. That kind of lamp. Uh, I looked in some stores, but I ain't seen nothing like that. But you're something else. I think you could find something like that for me. What do you say? Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry to keep bothering you with your this things. Things. Fog is dangerous, so don't go out so much. Oh, head sprints, head band. Knew you would come through. We'll be able to tell us apart. Bead chain. Thank you. Aha. Miyoko san. Oh, oh did did you hear that? <laughs> well, it, it's okay, right? People have to have the right to think of their beloved. 
getting married. Man seems melancholic about his wedding for some reason. Damn it. Everything would be great if it wasn't for him. Who am I talking about? That horrendous furball. Oh, she has a cat. Look. Ah, I'm scared. I can't even say it. Those fang demons are terrifying. Is it a cat? Ah, don't say the C word. Actually physically trembling at the thought of cats. Perhaps he's the one who wrote you the request. He wants to overcome his fear of cats. The meowing and the whiskers and the evil little claws. It's all just so scary. Okay, but have you seen the beans? Okay, but have you seen the beans? Hold on. Let me show you some beans real quick. These are some good beans. See these beans? These are good beans. I like these beans. See, this is also some good bean. I don't know. I'm I'm a fan of of the beans. Of all the pets, Miyoko-san wants to have a k k cat. She said we can't get married if I won't let her have one. Ugh, why must you put me through this horrible test, Miyoko-san? You try to figure out a way to force him to overcome his fear. Talk to him about cats. Stop it! Stop that right now. What do you want? Money? I'll give you money. Just get away from me. The meowing and the whiskers. Meow like a cat. Stop it. Stop that right now. This man is now in perpetual torment. Oh, I was hoping I could bring the cat from the, the fish mission over. Aww. Look at the kittens. Okay, I'm assuming we need to find something else to help him overcome his fear. What do you have to say? Princes don't exist in reality. Naoto-san is so cool and capable. But if you think about it, this would only work on TV. I'm just a humble office worker. There's no way that I'd be able to meet a prince like him. Uh, I guess I'll just go home and watch TV. Unlucky.
Dude, even Juness isn't, like, free. What about Okina? Okina's pretty close. Oh god, even Okina. Grand prize will be revealed next year. Okay. Is there anybody who needs uh who needs help? Guess not. Um Oh hey. What's up? My mom, she says that the fog is dangerous. She wants us to move out soon. I wonder if we wouldn't have to move if the weather lady uh, said that the weather was going to be clear skies, but even if we move, I'll be with my little sister, so I'll be fine. I have something to ask of you. A while ago, a friend told me that I didn't resemble my sister that much. But that's not true. We're so alike that we're capable of telepathy. And that's what I said. To prove them wrong before I move. This is the last time I'll do it. So, sure. Thanks so much. How's that? Do you think she got it? Go ask. Go ask. Experiments in telepathy. Part two. I'm assuming it's this fucking... She's on Samegawa again. <laughs> Are you here because of my sister and her telepathy stuff again? I don't hear or sense anything, but that's probably obvious to you. Can you tell her something for me? Tell her... Uh, that's not something we should be able to do because the two of us are different. Tell her that I don't want her to keep making you do this sort of thing for her. Okay. Lamau. Lamau. What's up? No way! I was sure she would get it this time. Maybe you should visit her once more. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, it's you again. What? My sister is still trying to test that telepathy thing. Guess that's just how she is. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Thank you. I'm sorry for making you run back and forth here. These are for you. Three supersonics. Some llama do llama. Here, I'm kind of curious as to what Daidata and what's her name, what's her name, as to say about the the fog. This strange fog. It's put out the pilot light for my forge. That's. That's unforgivable. This fire is what allowed me to stave off the cold and the elements from invading my art studio. If I have to close my shop down in the middle of winter like this, how am I supposed to make a living? I don't know. Start a YouTube channel. Lamau. Ah, welcome. Oh dear, what's wrong? Your face is dreadfully pale. Is Nanako-chan not well? Uh, I'm sure you must have some reason for being worried, but your body is a temple. Please take good care of it. Yeah, it's it's like one of those temples where they allow, like, the monkeys to shit all over the place. Alright. 
Let's go hang out with, uh, fucking, I don't know, Yukiko? Yeah, let's hang out with Yukiko, I guess. Hey! Do you want to go somewhere? Being friendly. Yukiko looks happy. Tatsuhime's shrine. Fog has enveloped the area. Yukiko seems embarrassed for some reason. Um... Do you remember Kasai-san, the waitress? See, she seems to have told everyone about you. They're saying I should bring you home. Adults are so quick to poke fun at me. It's such a hassle, isn't it? But of course, my family runs an inn, so guests come by all the time. Maybe next time you can just come in. Oh, Yuki-chan. Oh, the deputy mayor. Uh, the people at the inn seem very busy. Something going on? <laughs> oh no! Today was the interview for the travel show. On TV? That's great! You'll try and make Inaba look inviting, won't you? I'm sorry! An interview? Uh-huh, it's for a travel show. Uh, it looks like a serious show. And we agreed to it because my mother and I won't be filmed. But they need me to help clean, so I have to go now. Yukiko looks apologetic. Goodbye. There you are, Yuki-chan. Sai-san, what's wrong? That TV crew came. But don't go to the inn. It was a trick. Those people from, uh... It's those people from that News of the Weird show. And I think they're looking for you. So stay put, you got that? Huh? Okay, but... There you are. No use in hiding, future manager of the Cursed Inn. Cursed Inn? We all know about that murder case. Mayumi Yamano stayed at your place, right? You guys have been hurting, what, with the drop in visitors, huh? So I came up with a great idea. The high school manager's embarrassing struggle. Renovating the Cursed Inn. How's that grab you? The customers will be pouring in, I tell you. What? I don't understand what you... I want you to be the star. When we introduce the hot springs, just let us film a little bathing scene, huh? The modest manager's steamy service. Our ratings will be through the roof. That sounds like a great idea. Listen, you... Anyway, please leave. We are not interested in your coverage. You're refusing? <sighs> Look, kid. You don't know the power of television, do you? Well, I can't blame you living in the countryside. We're trying to help you out here. I mean, do you want the patrons to dry up? If you're going to be the next manager, I'm trusting you to make the right decision here. I won't be the next manager. Oh, really? That's so. Well, you just say the word and I can hook you up with a better gig than running this dump of an inn. You should call yourself the formal, the former high school innkeeper. I'm already liking the sound of that. Why don't you hear me out? How dare you say that to Yuki-chan? It's okay. Let him say what he wants. He'll go home once he gets it all out. What the shit? You say your inn has been going for generations, but all that means is it's crappy and run down. Tradition is so last year. You'd be better off if you, uh, if you did close up shop. Small portions, decent service, nothing that stands out. Uh, you can't just do the same old, same old. That's why you suck. Your waitresses don't even give any extra service unless you tip them, huh? What the fuck? Hey, I know. Why don't you make all the waitresses young girls? 
and have them do all day menus. What the fuck? Don't say another word about our inn. Who take your stupid idea, idea seriously? From now on, we refuse any coverage from your station. You bitch. If that's how you want to play it, I'll plaster those words all over primetime. See how that feels. Go ahead, by all means. And we'll respond with an official complaint to your sponsors. This isn't sounding good, sir. I said some incredible things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should contact the inn. I'll see you later. I just kind of lost it when he was insulting everyone. Was I scary? <laughs> you were cool. Really? Thank goodness. Yukiko seems relieved. Um, there was a time not long ago when I thought it'd be better off if it closed. But it's like my home. It's where everyone in my world is. I can't let it close. It seems Yukiko is starting to face her true feelings. Nice. Wudong. I mean... We can basically get rid of Divine Grace now. Just a little longer? Sure. My heart's still racing. Please. You. Yeah, whatever. You can work as a tutor today. Do I want to work as a tutor? No. Am I going to work as a tutor? You betcha! Also, yeah, dude, come on. You can't, like... You can't just, like, say that shit. Like, oh, yes, yeah, so let's film a little bathhouse scene. To, like, a 15-year-old. Oh, yes, the manager's steamy. No, fuck you. Since you have Yoshitsune, Persona of the Tower Arcana won't deepen just yet. Sure, whatever. Do not care. Today is Labor Appreciation Day, so you have the day off from school. Yeah, I knew it. Red days are days off. No, but the date was red. The date was red on the on the the change. The 
the Wednesday was red. Um. All right. It doesn't seem as though anything will change. What the fuck are you doing here, Naoto? Oh, common son. Oh, we can go visit Nanako? I uh, I'll go later. I need to check something real quick. Yo, what's up, Rise? Ah, we have to we have to spend time with Marie. We have to spend time with Marie. Like this is not not something I can change. Huh? Oh, you're here. I have somewhere I want to go today. Won't deepen just yet. All right. <laughs> Hurry, let's go. Take me out. Are we going to Aya? Aya. Or are we going to Juness? Oh, we're going to Aya. Oh, no. So it's like Daigak. I forgot Aya is the fucking place you do the Mega Beef Bowl Challenge. You hear someone at the front door. The order from the show. Price stickers. Soma. Work as a janitor at the hospital. Aya. Uh, we can spend time with Naoto. Who else? Chie. And that's it. Hmm. Can I mail the stuff right now? Rare combo, always. Probably isn't worth doing. Nah. Let's... Let's spend time with uh, Naoto, I guess. Senpai! Naoto seems happy. Excuse me. You live with Dojima-san, correct? He's an interesting man. My first impression of him was your typical hard-boiled detective type. But when the police officials and I were in disagreement about their methods, he was the only one to put a word in for me. In the end, my advice was still ignored, but I won't forget that he tried. I tell him you said that. Well, that's quite all right. He would have considered speaking up to be his professional duty. To thank him for that would only be a burden. The Shirogane family has close ties to the police, but that relationship is sometimes overshadowed by conflicting conflicting interests. Uh, that's why it's helpful to have detectives like Dojima-san around. Then again, in his case. Enjoyed your idle chat with Naoto. Oh, please accept it. Milk chocolate. Ooh. 
Good night. Over here, students talking. I can't even see the sky with all this fog. I really don't like this weather. Huh? Why? I'm fine with it. Some people say the fog is poisonous, but I don't feel bad at all. You're worrying too much. Just imagine that the town was supposed to be like this from the very beginning. Pretend that this is natural. If you say so. More students are calling in sick lately. But I guess it's nothing really unusual. Oh god. <sighs> Maybe I should go home for today. The fog doesn't seem to be lifting either. Don't you feel drained on foggy days? The bad news is that I can't go home yet though. That's the crushing reality of being a full-time employee. Uh, days like these, I just want to spend all day counting my money at home. Two, four, six, eight, ten. It's easy to count if you use a sequence of numbers with a common difference. Two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Numbers with geometric progression are more difficult to count by. Here's a uh, sequence that's even harder to count by. Oh, hey. Zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen. Can you answer this? What is this sequence called? That is the Fibonacci sequence. Yep, that's the Fibonacci sequence. Good to know you're studying. The Fibonacci sequence is defined by starting with zero, then one. Then all others are the sum of the two before them. I wouldn't dream of having my money grow in geometric progression, but at the very least, I can wish for a Fibonacci growth. Sorry that I'm getting off topic, but my husband is acting weird lately. <laughs> Not that we've been fighting, but he's going on about how the po the fog is poisonous. The pog is poisonous. Ah, I'm so depressed. Let's just continue the lecture. The pog is poisonous. Not the pog. I don't see, uh... Oh wait, I guess it doesn't really matter if Yosuke's out and about. It's fucking... We already hit rank 10. Hey, Yosuke! Alright, so Chi is available. Kanji is available. <laughs> How can I be sexist if I've never had sex? Jesus. A lot of people available today. There's only one person that really matters, though. And she's not out. Unlucky. I think I'll go spend time with Chie today. So let's do that. What's up, Chie? Kind of a relief about Nanako chan, isn't it? She'll be okay. Are hey, you free today? Wanna hang out somewhere? Yeah. Then you wanna train? Yeah. Central shopping district in front of the uh, Chinese diner Aya. Finished today's training, decided to stop by with Chie. Fog has enveloped the area. Today is What? I don't have any more. Not again. Don't tell me they're at it again. Let's
let's go! What are you up to? Huh? Aw, oh, not her again. <laughs> I know how to handle this bitch. What? <laughs> you look like you got something planned. Help! Hear that, Chie-chan? He wants help. How do you know my name? We ran into the guy you saved last time. Had a friendly conversation. He told us all kinds of stuff. Like where you live, and about that precious Yukiko-san of yours. What? What are you trying to pull? Oh, I'm just gonna have a little chat with this kid. Stay put, okay? Cause who knows what'll happen to Yukiko-san if you get in our way. Ah, <laughs> man, that's nasty. Why, you? <laughs> Things aren't looking good. Fuck these guys. Honestly. Yeah, we can't let these guys get away. Chie is spitting mad. You sure about that? So you don't care what happens to your loved ones? Uh, fine, then hit me. You're pissed at me, right? Then why don't you just take a swing at me? I won't fight back, be my guest. The face, the gut, just pick a target, as hard as you want! Come on! Freak. What's with this bitch? She for real? Whatever, man. Let's go. Damn. Miss, thank you. No, don't worry about it. Child ran off. <sighs> My heart's still pounding. <laughs> Was that stupid of me? I mean... Thanks. It might have been stupid, but I wanted to save them. That kid... Yukiko? How I feel about this isn't fake. I really want to protect them. Chie is smiling gently. Wow. Uh, um... Well, I also want to protect you. <laughs> I might be a little flaky, and maybe you don't even need protecting. But I... I want to protect you. <laughs> the mood is right. However, you're already in a relationship with another girl. What should you do? Yeah, sorry. I'll be counting on you. Yep, I'm counting on you. So, let's have some steak! Jesus. You ate with Chie and went home together. The moon is right. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Spend time with Arise. Spend time with Kanji. Mm. 
I think I already spent time with Rise. Alright, let's go Tutor, I guess. Well, let's go see if Tutor is going to level up. Won't deepen just yet. Is it so foggy? The old Japanese calendar had different names for the months. September was Nagatsuki, and October was Kanazuki. Uh, this weather feels like all of the gods have gone uh, away and left us since last month. Fog is just nasty, isn't it? It's like being wrapped up in gauze, like an Egyptian mummy or something. Of course, my house uh, was as nice as one of the ancient pyramids. I probably wouldn't complain about it so much. But mummies are already dead, so they don't have anything to worry about. You, however, have tests coming up. If you failed the last exams, you have even more cause for concern. I don't want to see you haunting these halls. Well then, Common Chan, I have a question for you. What's up? Uh, there are over 130 ancient pyramids in Egypt. But you, do you know who's buried in the biggest one? Fucking... I want to say... Tutankhamen? I know the pyramid itself... Or no, the pyramids are called the Pyramids of Giza. What, what are they called? The Great Pyramids of Giza? Ah, fuck it. Doesn't really matter. Nope. Koof. Also known as Chaps. Unlucky. It's fine. I mean, it oh, really surprise. doesn't matter. Uh, are you free today? Built before type. All right. Yeah, I'm not I'm not up to up to snuff on Egyptian history. Yeah, and Cleopatra was a woman. Speaks for itself, really. Oh, hey, Risa is available. I did not mean to go to Juness. What the fuck is going on here? Duh. Can't make sense of what he's mumbling about. Three, two. What the fuck? Doritos? They talking about Doritos? Called me out of class again. Told me my grades aren't too hot right now. How does everyone seem to know that? Are there ears in the walls or something? Being out here in the country is bad. And it's bad because it's the country. But what can I do about it? If only someone could get me out of here. Uh, Marie is not available. This guy's wearing a gas mask now. Hey, hey you! 
Where's your gas mask? The fog is poison, so you have to be careful. Everyone's saying it, so it has to be true. And no, did you? Well, I'm glad you're still okay. All right. Maybe I should be doing something and I just don't realize it. But I'm a little I'm a little busy. If you don't mind, I'm free today. Isn't ready to advance yet. I know Risa is ready to advance, I think. Sent How does that sound? I'm trying to help you feel better? Yeah. Uh-huh. Where shall we go? Risa looks happy. Central Shopping District. You walked with Risa home after a trip to Okina City. Fog has enveloped the area. <laughs> I placed lots of special orders. Come with me next time when I go pick him up, senpai. I had tons of fun today. Not many people tried to come up and talk. Maybe they already forgot who I am. Oh yeah. Want some tofu to take home? I helped make them today. Wait right here. Excuse me, common son, is it? Um, sorry about the other day. I'm Minoru Inui, uh, Risei Kujikawa's former manager. Sorry to bother you, but could you give this to her? Hand me a letter. A fan letter came, you see. Why so interested in her? I'm one of her fans myself. Her talent is captivating. Risa always looked forward to this girl's letters, so I... Uh, in today's cult of personality, being popular carries its own problems. Your schedule fits together, minute by minute, like a jigsaw puzzle. Every day you're squeezed utterly dry. But even knowing that, I still want her to come back. She was genuinely brilliant. Not only that, but she's strong enough to use her pain as a foundation. From what I could see, she's relying on you. So, could you? Sorry, Senpai, but we're all sold out. You know I Sen? Quit pestering me. Wait, what did you say to Senpai? I'm sorry. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Gee. Hounding me even after I quit. He's practically a stalker. To think I trusted him. I feel betrayed. Well, that's simply not nice. What? Why are you siding with him? You're not with me on this? Shocked to hear that. What did he come for? Told Rise, handed her the fan letter. Oh! This letter. She wrote again. I see, but he came all the way out here for this? This girl is a middle school student. She writes to me all the time. I did this public service campaign once to stamp out bullying. She said it inspired her. She wrote that she wouldn't let bullies get her down. That she'd try to make friends. Ever since then, she wrote me letters. This happened today. I was able to say this, stuff like that. Seeing Rizette work hard encourages me. It makes me feel like I can still hang out, hang in there. <laughs> she doesn't really know how it works, huh? But still, every time I read her letters, 
I felt like Rosette actually meant something. So whenever things got tough, I would read them, over and over. Senpai, do you still have some free time? Tatsuhime Shrine. Fog has enveloped the area. Risei seems to be deep in thought after reading the fan letter. Hmm. She's worried about me. Officially, I'm taking a break due to illness, so... <sighs> Before I quit, there was talk about a part in a movie. She sounds like she was really looking forward to it. Please get well soon and come back, she says. I'm so glad you were here. I was scared to read it alone. I gave up on being reset. I can't meet her expectations. Are you having second thoughts? I have no regrets. At least, I think not. I mean, it was such a relief to quit. To go back to being the real me. <laughs> Risa has a lonely smile on her face. Anyway, Rizette doesn't exist anymore. It's not just this girl. I disappointed lots of other people. The president of the company told me that over and over. And I knew already. I knew this was the path I chose, but... <laughs> Maybe I'll just inherit the tofu shop. I'm the shop's main attraction now. I bet I could make it thrive. Senpai. Maybe we should really just... Do it. You know what I was saying a while back? You could marry me once we graduate high school and the two of us could work at the tofu shop together. Doesn't that sound fun? How about it? Uh, I can't decide that now. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sounds great. You'll say that to just anyone, huh? It's dangerous to try to tell everyone what they want to hear. Too bad, though. Rosette wasn't fooled. Thank you for being with me all of today. I feel a bit better. Yeah, I'm fine. I can contribute something. And it looks like there's still plenty of things only I can do. You can sense Risei's quiet will. She will now precisely identify an enemy's weakness. Sorry for dragging you around all day. I'll let you go now. I'll see you later, senpai. Yeah, alright. Work as a janitor. Uh, Yukiko. Yukiko. And is that the hanged man? Oh, no, that's Yosuke. The magician. Uh, let's hang out with uh, Yukiko, since we already have Yosuke at rank 10. And we just ranked up uh, Yo or Yukiko. On my, my way back from an errand, but it was so cold I stopped for something warm to drink. Would you like to join me? Spend time with Yukiko. Really, I'm so happy Yukiko is smiling. Beaming, even. Hey. 
So it seems that Miss Kashiwagi and Hanako-san were staying at our inn after the culture festival too. Teddy told me about it, but it was news to me. He seemed depressed when he mentioned it for some reason though. Did something happen? Uh. <laughs> yeah. All right. I I can't go into it in detail. <laughs> Something did happen. You have to tell me about it next time. Yukiko's eyes are serious. Well, Nanako-chan enjoyed her stay, so I was happy to have you all over. You can all stay with us again, whenever you want. You're welcome anytime. You enjoyed your idle chat with Yukiko. Could become stronger soon. That's huh? good. Should be getting back. Didn't even notice. Right here. I want you to have Mini this. Mini Anpan. This is a gift we received, if you don't mind. I'd like to share it with you. Well, be careful on your way home. Oh boy. Good night. Yukiko to the bus stop. All right. Today is Saturday. You overhear students talking. Hey, don't you think that there are more and more people getting weird because of the fog? I even see people wearing these huge gas masks around. Yeah, and people are getting sick too. Haven't there been a lot of weird stuff lately? Like, that the world is ending. And that global warming is because of original sin, nutty stuff like that. Hey, what do you think is going to happen if you don't think someone's sick, but you don't do anything? If you think someone's sick, but you don't do anything about it. I mean, to be honest, yesterday my dad. Blah, blah, blah. Good morning. What's up, you guys? You don't look so well. Are you exhausted from studying for the tests around the corner? I hope you're not forgetting something. Christmas is coming up in a month. Have you found your dates yet? Ha <laughs> ha, I've got mine already. Tell you what, I'll give you guys a Christmas question. Uh, cakes, regarding cakes. Which of these is considered a rice cake? What the fuck? I, I have not the slightest. I'm gonna assume it's not mochi. Or, uh, because uh, that's not really like a cake, it's like a paste. Oh, God. I don't even know what these things are. What, what is, what is, hold on. Senbei are a type of Japanese rice cracker. They come in various shapes, sizes, and flavors. Usually savory, but sometimes sweet. Often eaten with green tea as a casual snack and offered to visiting house guests as a courtesy refreshment. Huh. Tango is a Japanese dumpling made from rice flour mixed with uruchi rice flour uh, and gluttonous rice flour. It is different from the method of making mochi, which is made after steaming gluttonous rice. Tango is usually finished round-shaped. Three to five are often served on a skewer. Those actually look pretty fucking good. Then fucking a lot of people know what mochi is. Oh, it is mochi. Mochi is a Japanese rice cake made of mochi gome, a short grain, uh, japonica, gluttonous rice. Sometimes other ingredients such as water, sugar, and cornstarch. Rice is pounded into a paste and molded into the desired shape. In Japan. It is traditionally made in a ceremony called Motsisuki. 
Mochitsuki. Mochitsuki. Can you die from mochi? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The appeal for people to be careful when they eat mochi is an annual one, but it is not always closely heated. Every year, the Japanese media keeps a close watch on the death toll from mochi, with two deaths reported last year. What? I guess that does make sense. It's just strange to me that it's considered a rice cake. Because, like, when I think of rice cakes... I don't even really know what a rice cake is. Like, when I think of rice cakes, I think of, like, the hard cracker, or like, the round one. Hold on. Rice cake. Like, I think about the one they, well, the ones they sell in, like, grocery stores. Like, the puffed rice cakes. Hold on, let me, let me. Get a, let me get an image. Like, these ones. Interesting. Give the answer you think is correct. Excellent! Mochi is a type of rice cake. Uh, when you think of cake, you think dessert. But something pounded together is also called a cake. That's the case with mochi as it's rice pounded together. As another example, kamaboko is a fish cake, fish meat pounded together. However, you probably don't want to be eating fish cakes on Christmas night. Ha 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 ha. It's a, a strange question, but it, it makes sense, I suppose. Yep. Leaf, she'll be okay. I want to hang out somewhere. Isn't ready to advance yet. Not right now. Sorry. Let's go to the first floor. Let's see if uh, Yukiko is available. Yukiko is here, but not available. Naoto is available. What's her nuts is available. Let's see if Marie is here somewhere. Hey, there she is. How you doing, Marie? Huh? Oh, you're here. We'll deepen. Let's fucking Let's go. go. Um. There's a place I want to go. Place uh with the meat on the sticks. It's okay, right? So it's like that. Cool. Shopping district. So it's like that. Cool. At Marie's insistence, you have come here to eat steak skewers. Fog has enveloped the area. Jeez. Fog, fog again? Fog again? Oh. Really bugs me that it has to be foggy now. Tell me about it. Marie is constantly being bothered by the fog. What is bothering her? It's tough. Hard to bite into. And it got cold while I was still eating it. It was tasty. I remember it all from when we came here. This place, 
is taste and you. Huh. This is a memory. A new memory. One that has no ties to who I was before. Yeah. I can feel it now. It makes me happy. Marie smiles happily. When we were looking at clothes, your friends told me something. What was that? There are things that you can't do by yourself, but can do with others. That's true. I'd say so. You gave me a new memory. You taught me that I don't need to be worried. I wouldn't have been able to do that on my own. I only realized that because of you. Duh. It was fun. I enjoyed it too. The outside world is fun. But that's not what made my time outside so enjoyable. It's because I was with you. Marie smiles bashfully. Hey, you can have this. Are you sure? Obtained old bamboo comb. I don't need to worry anymore. So I'm giving this to you. Finding memories, making new ones. Either way, I'll be with you, right? So, I want you to have this. All right. You feel Marie's strong trust in you. We did it, boys. <clears throat> thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Kaguya, the ultimate form of the Aeon Arcana. The Marie Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Marie Social Link. Your power to create personas of the Aeon Arcana has reached its maximum. Common Cold has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the Aeon Social Link, you can now fuse Kaguya, the Moonlit Knight's Visitor. Good. Next. Let's go visit a bunch of new places. I want to go to a beach, and on a mountain, and... and... um... Whatever. You figure it out. <laughs> I'll leave everything to you. You accompanied Marie to a number of different places. Perfect. Alright. Let's go fucking meet that little shit. Unless someone else is available that we want to sp uh, be with. Ooh, Naoto. That might be worth it. Hanged man. I just call him Hanged Man. Like, I don't even know his name. Good evening. You know, the brother of that girl who died. Uh, meeting like this more frequently lately. Yeah. Thank you. Well then. You enjoyed your idle chat with Naoto. Growing stronger. Oh. I apologize for keeping you out so late. Please accept. Medicine. Let's go home. Good night. Now it's Sunday, so we have the day off. You have the day off from school today. Wait for the situation to unfold. Your final start tomorrow. What should you do today? I haven't bought anything from the shopping program. Place something on it. Well, obviously, the King Frost doll. 
dude look? It's so cool. He's thick. All right, what do we got? Four emergency first aid kits with the four gas masks. What? My mother-in-law wouldn't eat anything I cooked, and the fog never cleared up either. Guess I'll stop going to my mother-in-law's house after all. Doesn't look very healthy. That dog is dying slowly, and it's all our fault. Oh. Death. Um, yeah, no, sorry, not right now. Soon. TM. But probably not. Oh, let's go hang out with Nanako. Oh, common son. Inaba Municipal Hospital, Nanako's room. Came to visit Nanako with your friends. Big bro. Seems to be painful for her. Hang in there. Yeah. Nanako is smiling weakly. Nanako's condition doesn't seem like it's getting any better. <sighs> so, um, how are things over at the house? It feels too big for me. Uh... I see. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, she's gone to sleep. Well then, we'll be going now. Please take care, Dojima-san. Yeah, thanks. They would be about themselves. Feel that your relationship has deepened. Oh my god, what? You hear someone at the front door. Snuff soul. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, we should probably... Why am I going to the shrine? What am I doing? Am I boosted? I think I'm boosted. I'm a boosted animal. Is there anybody out today? Nobody. Hmm. Guess they're all studying. Maybe I should read. Understanding. Knowledge and expression. Knowledge and expression. Knowledge and expression. courage. Boost the effects of eating Chinese food. Catch even more bugs. Hmm. 
Yeah. From now on, when you see the command menu button icon under the gauge, uh, to boost your real speed. All right. This fog is really disconcerting. Your second term finals begin today and continue until the weekend. You should hurry to school. Like, really disconcerting. My best. Yo! Look at this weather, man. What's up with this? It's really weird. Have you ever heard of anything like this before? Oh yeah, and finals start today. But that's seriously not the point now. What's going to happen? Uh, I'm worried too. I thought that stuff about the fog being harmful to people was just a rumor, but people are getting sick. And even besides that, there have been a lot of weird rumors being spread around too. Damn, I don't like how any of this feels. Finals, day one. Uh, what does French food stem from? Italian food. Figure and figure skating referred to. Geometric shapes. What is book of maps called? An atlas. If you've chosen the correct answer. I pass. You overhear students talking. Ah, there's no way we can keep the club going like this. Too many of our members are calling in sick. When's this damn fog gonna clear up? But, Senpai, the people who are just slacking off aren't showing up either, right? You can keep the club with the members you're left with. Maybe the fog helped you to find out who's the most dedicated to being in the club. Huh? Well, that's one way of looking at it, I guess. It's kind of fucked up. Finals, day three. Um, what word has the root, the word bright ale as its roots? Huh? Fuck. I actually... It's L-E, isn't it? Oh my god. For some reason, I'm doubting myself now. Bridal. Ah! Uh... No. L-E is the fucking thing you put on a horse. That's a brittle. Bridle. Brittle. Bridle. Bridle. So this is bridle. What kind of bird is a kankodori? It's a kako. God, so much fog. Day four. 
Which country does the South Bowl belong to? No country. Chosen the correct answer. Fibonacci sequence. Yeah, the Fibonacci. My God. You overhear students talking. Hey, did you hear what they say happened on the Midnight Channel? Someone said they turned it on, and there was a picture of this town in complete ruins. Huh? My friend said that she saw Inaba getting swallowed by the fog and sent into some other dimension. She said there were some monsters coming out of the fog too, like in that story. Have you noticed? Ever since this fog started, it seems that some people can see the Midnight Channel even when it's not raining. Could it be? Is our town getting more and more messed up? Oh no. Finals, day five. What desert is the well which I yeah, found in? Namib. Uh, what each of these is considered a rice cake? Mochi. This fog just won't quit. Seriously. The weather report said it might start snowing soon. But what's going to happen if it snows with all this fog? Won't be able to see anything. Whoa! Where'd you guys come from? Wow, that's quite a crowd you got there. We ran into each other back there, so we came together. Yeah, it's probably... The fog's so thick that sometimes you can't see your nose in front of your face, so everyone's forming groups now. It's definitely been weird lately. It's so cold, too. Visibility's so bad, it's scary. Can I stick close to you, senpai? <laughs> oh, this girl never changes. It really is hard to see anything in this, though. It's just like on the other side. Yeah. What? Guys, put on your glasses! Oh, no. Whoa, it's all clear. Oh, what the hell's going on? These glasses are meant to help us see through the fog in the other world. But putting that aside, no glasses would improve one's visibility in a fog under normal circumstances. Then, um... It's only safe to assume that this fog is coming from the other world. Could the fog from over there be leaking into our world? Huh? Well, you, you guys think that's it? I was kind of expecting you to ignore it as Chie being random again. <laughs> it's, it's just a thought. <laughs> Not the time, Chie. The mood darkens. Anyways, today's the last day of exams, right? Let's get them over with so we can meet up at the special headquarters after school. Yeah. Wow, we haven't used that name in a while. Hopefully we won't have to use it that much either. Ugh. It's the last day of the exams. Every question with ease. The answers seem to be flowing from your hand. There will be dramatic turns in the story from this point. It is strongly recommended that you take this opportunity to save. Would you like to save your game now? Yes. Hey, here's a story about the fog. Um... Some specialists are raising concerns that this fog may consist of harmful substances. 
More and more citizens are calling for an investigation into the cause of the fog and the facts about it. Though the government has begun its preliminary investigation, many feel that the causes will be hard to pinpoint. Oh, is this fog really dangerous? You hardly ever see people walking around town anymore. Or here, either. Everyone's too scared of the fog now to go outdoors much. Yeah. It does seem a lot like the fog on the other side. It's not quite the same color, though. But that may just because... may just be because of the density. But beyond that, I'm clueless. There's another item of note here. A summary of Namatame's career with details about the case. Hmm? The suspect was having an affair with the first victim. It seems she was killed due to relationship troubles. Also in April, Miss Saki Konishi's body was discovered. The police are looking into a motive for the murder. In July, a boy living in Inaba performed a copycat murder. The boy was initially thought to be the culprit behind all the killings, but later suspicion was thrown upon Namatame. Last month, the suspect attempted to kidnap a seven-year-old girl of Inaba, resulting in his arrest. It seems Namatame is still confined to his hospital bed, so further interrogation has yet to commence. So it's finally over. A lot of stuff's happened. Yeah. But all that's left is for the police to build a case for Namatame, right? Can they prove anything? Do you think Namatame will confess? Whether he confesses or not, it was him who did everything. Getting him convicted is up to your uncle. But the stuff he was saying was so obviously nuts. If he says anything about the TV world, he might be considered mentally unstable. Also, I heard before that if the police don't have enough hard evidence, it's difficult to build a case. Yeah. Yes, there are many such cases and culprits. It's the eternal conundrum for crime investigators. So even if they're caught, the law can't do shit? It's a possibility. Hell's up with that! We all know he did it! You can't just let a maniac who thinks he's saving people by killing them run wild on the streets! They better not dismiss something this serious because of some mental issues. Saki-senpai. No, not just her. Or that announcer. Even King Moron is his fault. If it weren't for what he did, nobody would have tried a copycat killing. It's his fault Nanako-chan's in the hospital right now, too. You were reminded that you made a promise with Nanako to buy a new Kotatsu. What's the matter? You told others about your promise with Nanako. A Kotatsu? Yeah. Oh, then why don't we go check them out right now? I know Nanako-chan would be psyched if she came home and found a new Kotatsu. Dude, why didn't you tell me sooner? The winter season's coming up and we just got a bunch of them in stock. Well, that's a Poggers champion moment, gamers. All right, off to the housewares section for Nanako-chan. If we're getting a Kotatsu, we better get some oranges to complete the set. Oh, yeah. It's a cliche because it's true, damn it. <laughs> the best compliment to a Kotatsu would be a heated rug. Dude, that much juice would kill the breaker the moment you tried to microwave something. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, yeah, you've never used a Kotatsu before, huh, Ted? It's nice and toasty. What's up? Can I still stay here? Huh? You kept your promise to me, so I should be going back. But I don't want to go until Nana-chan gets better. Of course you can stay. 
How many times do we have to say this before it gets through to you? Nanako-chan would be sad if you weren't there when she wakes up. Hmm? But... I couldn't save Nana-chan. Okay. Don't be silly. We saved her together. We caught the killer, man. We couldn't have done that without you. Oh, I dropped some frames. Ah! Frames dropping. Teddy, you shouldn't talk that way when Nanako-chan is still fighting. You guys... Drop frames. Yeah, no. We are not... No. You can stay, alright? Fucker. But you are not coming over to my place. Sensei, I'm so touched. I'll stay by your side until Nana-chan comes home, Sensei. Oh, that's right. There's no one but you at your place. Oh, no. Hey, why don't we pick out a Christmas present for Nanako-chan while we're at it? What do you think I am made of money? Because I basically am. <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. I'm sure she'll be out of the hospital by then. All right, but none of this charge it to Yosuke stuff this time. Seriously. We're clear on this, right? Of course. Oh, come on. Why would we do something like that? Hmm, I wonder. Dude, the clothes you got for this guy? I almost pissed my pants when I saw the receipt. How many days do you think I had to work to pay that off? Well, I can't help it if Juness overcharges for things. Ugh. Whatever. Well, I guess you gotta expect that. It's not like Chia-san's ever had the occasion to help a guy shop before. Oh, what? damn. What did you just say? Come on, baby. Don't fight over me. Over little old me. Stay out of this! <laughs> Let's leave them be and think of a present for Nanako-chan on our own. Yeah, okay. But what would a girl her age want? What do you think Nanako-chan would appreciate most? Mm. Probably a Jack Frost doll. This doesn't matter. Worry not. Absolutely, then. A Jack Frost doll. Yeah, that, that white round shape's the best. A plush doll's the way to go. All right, as soon as Nanako-chan's out of the hospital, we'll have a party at your place. Yes! And we'll bake the cake! You mean you're getting a store-bought cake? Of course! Let's make it a cake to remember. You mean you're getting a store-bought cake? Oh, no, you're not! Are you trying to send Nanako-chan back to the hospital? It's Adachi. Hello, this is Adachi. Um, I want you to stay calm and listen to me, okay? Okay. Nanako-chan's condition suddenly got worse. What? The doctor wants you to come to the hospital immediately. We'll be waiting. Oh no. Come on, let's go! Inaba Municipal Hospital. Nanako's room. Dojima is listening to an explanation from the doctor. There have been loud voices throughout the hospital for some time now. Doctor! This fog is poisonous, isn't it? Isn't it filled with viruses? They said so on TV! Isn't there a vaccine or something for it? Calm down, please. That's just a rumor. Don't tell me to calm down! You're lying! We know you have medicine for this! 
What? Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? If they have medicine for it, why wouldn't they give it to you? Why would we do something like that? What a commotion. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. <laughs> Dojima-san, you need to return to your... I don't give a damn about myself. Do something about Nanako. Ugh. dojima -san. Just save her. For God's sake, please save Nanako. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being. All right. Nanako. Hmm. A nurse accompanied Dojima back to his room. Hey, can't you do something? This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking, but... Damn it. Why does this have to happen to a little girl like her? Mm. We all feel the same way. Why'd it turn out like this? Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? Mm -hmm. You guys still here? How is Dojima-san doing? His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over in his room now. Oh. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. What's that mean? I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find him guilty in court. Especially given the reason why we took him off our list of suspects for the first case. Oh yeah, something about him having an alibi. Wait, really? Yeah, that. And the whole angle about him putting people into TVs, there's no way that'll stand up in court. No one would believe that. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatame killed these people. And Dojima-san knows it. Well, ain't you calm about this? I'm just telling you the truth. And you call yourself a cop? Huh? If you want to see that stuff so bad, we'll show you! Hurry up and bring a TV here, dammit! Hey, stop! What? What the? Is Nanako Chan's family here? Hurry inside. Please talk to her. What's happening? What the hell? What's going on? No. Nanako Chan. Daddy. Hang in there. Nanako-chan. Nanako-chan. Can you hear us? Do you understand what we're saying? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. <laughs> Where's Dojima-san? We're calling for him right now. How's Nanako? Doctor. <sighs> Big bro.
right here. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm scared. Nanako! <clears throat> Nanako! I'm sorry, sir. Nana Chan. We did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this. Dojima-san, what's with that look? Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Hmm? Huh? Wait, is, is Nanako-chan... But then, where did Dojima-san go? His room isn't that way. Wait a sec, that's the way to... Remember what he said. Dojima san might have gone after Namatame. Adachi san said he was admitted to this hospital. You transported into the same hospital? For crying out loud, he's the suspect in the case. What are you getting mad at me for? This is the biggest hospital, and he's in no condition to be moved. Where is his room? I can't tell you that. Just tell us where he is already. Dojima's son's on his way, ain't he? You don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him! Kanji-kun, you don't mean... Uh, hold on. Just what are you guys talking about? Cough it up! Where's his room? <laughs> Top floor in the second surgical ward. Furthest room back. But there's a police guard. I. I was always watching over Nana Chan, and I still couldn't save her. It happened in my world. Even though I was the only teddy in that place, I... I still couldn't do anything. I... <laughs> Let go of me. I need to speak to him. Like we said, Without permission. Permission? Who gave them permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? The hell with you all! 
Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? Give me back Nanako! Give her back! She's... She's all I have! She's... Uh, the only one in the world... Call a doctor! Let go of me. I need to... Holy crap! Dojima-san! Quick, get him to his room. I'll go alert the doctors. Dojima-san, was he seriously gonna... <sighs> His only daughter's dead. Nothing would have surprised me. Dojima-san probably knew that there's little to no chance Namatame would be convicted. Damn it. He killed Senpai, and now Nanako-chan. And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did. That's not right. <laughs> Why? Why is he the one that gets to go on living? Hmm? <laughs> Are you all right? Mm, uh. You have your life, and now you want your freedom too? It's your fault that Nanako Chun's. I. I didn't. I... Twelve o'clock. Is it the Midnight Channel? Hey, isn't this... I failed to save her. It's, it's because, because you got, got in my way. way. Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. No. Come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. What the... I failed, but it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. What? Is that what Namatami's really thinking? Then... He wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law! I will never forgive what you did! This... Please! Stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. Or do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you! Kanji... <sighs> Do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? I don't care either way. Living or dying makes no difference to me. But you... You're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? <laughs> I'll continue saving people. It's my mission. Mission? My God. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Let me just... Uh, let me give it a go. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. I... I under... 
understand, but... This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. Yeah. Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Wait a second. You don't mean... Are you... serious? You're just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's... but... Wha what's gotten into you guys? This is crazy! How can we do something like that? Cheer! Everyone, listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, It'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But... but... Yosuke... All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. J just p push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? All right, wait a second. We don't have time to wait. If we don't do this now, the cops will come back. What are you trying to say? We're definitely missing something. Something we don't know. What don't we know? on TV! What didn't you understand? Yeah. Well, what is it? I already told you there's no time to waste! Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? He could escape. Missing? Like what exactly? Damn it, I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer! Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. Keep calm. 
<laughs> He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. I'm perfectly calm. You don't seem like it, Yosuke. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hey, let's all take a deep breath. After what happened to Nanako-chan and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. Fine. Everyone took a deep breath. It seems that everyone has finally regained their composure. You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. Exactly. There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But! Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. Maybe he did genuinely think he was saving them. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere, anything. I still can't believe Nanako is gone. <sighs> I feel the same way. Jeez. How the hell can you stay so calm, man? Then again, that's why you're our leader. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. All right, I'm convinced. <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And thanks. The case has taken a sharp turn, and the events investigation team is now one step closer to the truth. Oh, what? I and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Judgment Arcana. Hey. 
Hey, you guys? What are you doing? You can't be in here. Oh, crap! We were keeping an eye on the suspect. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation and their trust in you, Adachi-san. Oh, I see. Yeah. We'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. That's probably for the best. So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. No problem. How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. He seems fine for now, but he really needs his rest. Okay. Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. Understood. We should go, too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. God. So what's this thing we're missing, huh? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me, too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So, he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. Mm -hmm. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. Yeah. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Mm. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. Although, her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her. It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Uh... I don't really get any of this. Yeah. Oh, this is so confusing! Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Sorry. Oh, there you are, all of you. Please come with me immediately. Huh? Huh? What's going on? What are you waiting for? Hurry, go! Yeah. Where am I? Is this Teddy's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. This reminds me of the beginning of the game. I remember being at the hospital. That's right, Nana-chan. I... I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. I lost my reason to be there. <laughs> That's it. I remember now. So, it was true. Guys! 
Sensei! What should I do? Hmm. What? Oh, there they are. Nanako-chan came around. Really? Huh? What did you just say? Nanako-chan's alive? Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still, Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. So, so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? Nanako-chan... I was gonna say... <laughs> oh my god! I... I... <laughs> This is amazing! Jesus. Dude, if she died before I got her social link maxed. Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I I didn't know what I was gonna do. <laughs> you can't max her social link? God damn it. You all should go home for the night. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. Yeah. <sighs> Wait a second, where's Teddy? I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. <gasps> You're right. That's weird. I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. Yeah. I'll try calling him up once we're outside. Couldn't save. I couldn't save. Why? Mayumi? And that girl too? I couldn't save them. Huh? Hey, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh. Are they wearing their glasses? Oh no. I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. Oh. Did you look at that? Oh, it's snow. Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. Huh. It doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. Yeah. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. <laughs> <sighs> Ugh, it's freezing. Let's go home. Hey, Yosuke, if you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. Man, that Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. Yeah. He's probably fine. But I'll hurry home just in case. Well, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Back in Namatame's room, was it really right to stop everyone from what they were about to do?
for now, you have no way of knowing. You remember that your cell phone has been off this entire time since you were at the hospital. That's good. There's something new in your inbox. Hey, it's Ko. I heard what happened to your little cousin. Is there anything I can do to help? Let me know. You know I'm there for you, okay? We're best friends, dude. Right? Daisuke here. I just heard about Nanako-chan. How's she doing? If there's anything I can do to help you guys, please tell me. ASAP. You've got the guts, man. You gotta be brave, man. It's Ayane. I heard someone from your family was in the hospital. I'm sorry. I don't know what to write. You're not alone, okay? When you're going through tough times, please remember that I'll be by your side if you ask. I'll call you again. Bye. You remember that you have friends who are there to help encourage each other. The case is still mired in an impenetrable fog, but you must continue it forth towards the truth. You should go home before you catch a cold. <sighs> oh. be all right then there's what happened in Namatame's hospital ward the snow that started to fall and the fog that won't disappear what lies ahead from here on you feel very tired not yet yeah I think right now is a really good stopping point. Jesus Christ. 